Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use Covalent's new code template using our NFT market data endpoints so you can create your own dashboard for an NFT collection in just a couple minutes. So follow along the easy steps and all of this can also be found in the readme file for the GitHub code template. So the finished product is going to look something like this. In my example, I'm just using the Crypto Covens NFT collection. Um, and using the GitHub template, I'm going to be able to show the 24-hour volume, um, a graph of floor prices, which I can adjust the date range for. Uh, and then I can also see some previews of the NFTs. And if I click on these, I can see the individual metadata that it pulls using the Covalent API as well. So let's get started. So when you arrive on our Covalent GitHub repository and you go to the NFT dashboard template, you want to click the main branch to make sure you're on that. And this is where you can see the readme that has all of the instructions that I'm going to go over in this video. But to get started, all you have to do is click use this template. Then I'm going to name the repository Crypto Covens, something really easy, and I'm going to keep it as public. And you just want to make sure that you include all branches. Awesome. So now I'm using the template and you can see that I'm on my own GitHub with this Crypto Covens repository name. And now I'm going to make sure that I'm on the main branch here. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to settings. From settings, I'm going to click and go to pages. And then I can see the URL where my project's going to be deployed. And I'm just going to copy that from here. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to start editing my code. So once I go back to code, I'm just going to make sure I'm on the main branch again, because that's where I'm making all my edits. And the first thing I'm going to do is update package file here. And then I'm just going to make the home page into my URL that I copied from my settings. So I'm going to click edit this file. So I just pasted my Crypto Covens um, deployment site from my settings. And then all I have to do is click commit, and it's automatically going to update that package. Great. Now I can see that my um, URL for my settings is updated on the home page code line there. Okay, back to the main branch. I'm going to click on the SRC folder and then I'm going to go down here to the config. And this is everything that I need to edit. So I'm going to need to replace the collection address with the Crypto Kevin's one. And then I'm going to set my chain ID to one of the blockchains that are listed here. Um, which that collection lives on. And then I'm just gonna do the title and maybe upload a banner as well. So I'll show you how to do everything right now. Okay, so as you can see, I have my GitHub template on my left. And then on my right, I have open Etherscan and OpenSea. So um, Etherscan is where I go to get the contract address of the token that I want. So I know in this case, I wanted Crypto Covens. I'm just gonna copy that from here. And then I'm gonna go and edit my file on GitHub. And all I'm going to do is replace that contract address right here. And then I know that this is on Ethereum. So the chain ID for Ethereum is one, and I'm just going to replace that. And then with the title, I'm just going to call it Crypto Coven Board. And now for a banner picture, I also have the collection open on OpenSea. And I can just take any of these NFTs here and copy an image address. And this will set as the background image for my dashboard. And no, I'm not right-click saving the NFT. <laughs> OK, once I've updated the config file, I'm just going to click Commit Changes. OK, so all of that should be done. Now I'm going to go to my Actions tab right here and see what's deploying. And I can see that it's building and deploying my site. So when this is ready, I can open up that URL that we saved and I can see my collection dashboard. Okay, after a couple minutes, I can check and all my workflows are completed. You can see from start to finish for everything to deploy, it's about six minutes since I started. So really that's the majority of the waiting. And now I can go and see my site. So I'm going to just go back to my settings and pages and click on this URL. And as you can see, it's populated that banner that I uploaded just sets the background It matches the color to um, a dominant color on the image background. And then I can see 24 hour volume of crypto coven sold um, and the count as well as the contract address, which will take me to Etherscan. I have this chart of my floor prices. Um, and then I also have that preview of all the NFTs at the bottom, which I can click on. 
and it takes me to that specific metadata to get a feel for the collection. So another cool feature of this collection template is I can click global view, which uses the global NFT metadata endpoint, and that is going to take me to a ranked view of all the collections on Ethereum based on market cap, and it's going to actually take me directly to this collection that I just made my dashboard on, and then I can browse through other ones and I can see a generated dashboard for each of those as well. Okay, great. Thanks for watching. That's an easy way to use the covalent template and build an NFT collection dashboard. Can't wait to see how you can modify things from here and build your own dashboards and maybe even mint your own NFT collections and showcase them with this as well. So have fun.